All right. So good afternoon and uh, welcome to another Ontario Good Roads webinar. I am Amin Menena. I'm the coordinator of technical products and research with OGRA. Uh, I will be your moderator today, and I would like to thank GPS to Go for sponsoring this webinar today. Thank you very much. Before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to ask ask questions throughout the the webinar today, and feel free to submit uh, the question via the uh, the Q and A button at any time during the presentation. We will be answering questions, uh, typing them throughout the webinar, and we'll also uh, have a uh, a, a brief uh, question and answers session at the end of the webinar. I'm joined, I'm joined today by uh, Russ Salo, the president of uh, gps to go and current board chair and eight-year member of the Ottawa Better Business Bureau. Russ began his company in 2007 and is proud to be a GTAB reseller covering Canada, all of Canada and the US. With notable customers such as the region of Niagara Falls, Trent University and Air Canada. We also have today uh, with us Ryan Thomas, fuel tax specialist with Holly Transportation Services. Ryan graduated from Carleton University with an environmental studies degree, the VP of sales at Holly uh, Transportation Services for 22 years. Uh, oh, for, uh, for 22 years, HTS, Holly Transportation Services, has been providing or processing PTO auxiliary rebates for municipalities and transport companies in Ontario. With that, without further ado, Russ, welcome, Thanks. and uh, it's over to you. Oh, wonderful. Good afternoon, everybody. Russ Salo here with gps to go coming to you live from sunny Ottawa, Ontario. Um, I want to thank you for signing up and having a look at what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Geotab Public Works is a new division, uh, a new offering from the Geotab company. Uh, it's something that if you are a small town, large city, or anyone in between, uh, we can help you have a real positive effect on your fleet, help you whether you have four vehicles or 400 vehicles. GPS to go, like Amin had said, I've been uh, in business doing this since uh, 2007. Uh, we're very proud members of the uh, Better Business Bureau. And if uh, you know you look us up, we have an A-plus rating. And again, yeah, this year I celebrated being the board chair for uh, the Ottawa Better Business Bureau. And we are a member of the Good Roads Association proud to be and uh, looking forward to getting to know people out there that are using uh, fleet telematics or need that kind of thing. Geotab, I have been selling their product, my company again, almost uh, it's 11 years now. Geotab has solidified its position as the top telematics provider for North America. Uh, so, you know, we've got over a quarter million government vehicles and uh, 2,000 government customers. So when you're looking for a one-stop shop that can give you a really good holistic approach to your telematics, Geotab's the place to go. You may uh, notice as well, uh, if you possibly received your electronic content or electronic version of Milestones magazine, um, again, we're very serious about working with you and being uh, new members of uh, OGRA, and we have our full page ad inside the inside cover here of the Milestones magazine, talking about what the Geotab platform and the Geotab Public Works platform will do. And um, at the end of this, if you're interested, you can reach out to us. We're going to include our information, but you can go to gps2go.ca forward slash public works and see some really good information. When it comes to Geotab and the Geotab public works platform, we've got your entire fleet covered. So it doesn't matter what it is you need to track. Uh, I didn't put on here, for instance, uh, trailers or non-powered assets. 
we have that as well. So whether you need to track a generator or all the way up to the biggest rigs, we've got something for you. And it gives you the uh, ability to see everything all on the same screen. So GPS to go, as a Geotab reseller, we have just about everything from soup to nuts covered. Uh, the tracking, electronic log books, cameras. If you have electric vehicles in your fleet or you're thinking of it, you know, reach out to us because we have some expertise with Geotab in that. Uh, your 511 needs maintenance, asset tracking, again, trailer tracking. We can help you with tablets, driver management, routing, dispatch, and more. I'm going to show you a little bit uh, as we go along. And again, end-to-end -end fleet telematics platform, and we cover all of the U.S. and Canada. I was actually uh, just dealing with one of my customers uh, this morning, getting prepared, and here showing that the Geotab system covers even those remote areas that might be underserved, where you might have uh, concerns. You know, can I do GPS tracking? Well, here we have this uh, vehicle up near Engelhart, Temiskaming Shores, Tomogamy, Ruan Miranda. So some of the uh, attendees that are here today, uh, if you're a northern community, maybe a smaller community, and you feel that, uh, geez, I don't know whether I can actually get GPS tracking that will work up here. Uh, well, here's a photograph that I took this morning of uh, one of our customers. So, you know, the Geotab system is uh, really, really made for any of those harsh environments. And we have great coverage right across the country. And of course, you know, with good roads, we are talking about uh, Ontario more than anything. Here's something new. If you have Ford, General Motors, Volvo, Mack trucks, international trucks, you now have the ability with Geotab to have the full tracking suite that we're going to see today um, for the, you know, everything except for public works, right with the built-in telematics that come from your new vehicles from these uh, manufacturers. So imagine if you have a fleet of Ford vehicles that are uh, usually 2019 and newer, there's a GPS telematics hardware built right into it, not having to buy uh, the Geotab hardware, but you can get all of the Geotab benefits. Um, and they have that for, again, General Motors is coming in Canada. It's not ready yet, I don't believe. Uh, but we have Volvo and uh, Mac and international vehicles. I'm going to show you some uh, in our demo here that are running that right now and doing full electronic logbooks. Um, the marketplace, one of the things that makes Geotab different, you can start off with the basics. I want to know where my vehicles are. I want to do basic tracking, no problem. But anything that you can dream of in the fleet world, we probably have it. And I'm going to show you uh, at some point coming up here, the uh, Geotab marketplace. So, uh, you know, asset trailer tracking, cameras, connected sensors, driver management, electronic log books, DVIR, IFTA reporting. If you have uh, binders full of your details for your IFTA reporting, imagine with Geotab, we can give you uh, clickable IFTA, three, four clicks, and your IFTA report is done for you. So anything in the fleet world that you need, we've got something for you. And, you know, do you need the basics? You need something more? This is a system that we often call future proof. Again, you can start out, you know, I often use a, a karate uh, analogy. You can start off as a white belt and stay as a white belt, or then you might graduate to a yellow and a green and a blue belt, maybe a brown belt. And if you want to become a uh, black belt with several stripes on your belt, you can get all the way up there as well. And the system can grow with your needs. And the nice thing about Geotab, there's no contract and you can mix and match your fleet needs. So if you have, as example, uh, pickup trucks and cars that just need basic tracking, you can do that with our base plan. 
Uh, you might have vehicles uh, where you need engine diagnostics and, and fuel levels and whatnot. Maybe that's in, you know, in what we call our pro plan in the middle. And then we also have our uh, highest level, uh, you know, pro plus, maybe you need, um, you know, mission critical uh, reporting and you need some other features that comes with our pro plus uh, situation. And you can have vehicles in all of the different levels all at the same time, uh, mix and match them and uh, move them up and down as your needs uh, change. You can even put vehicles into uh, seasonal suspension when the, the weather or the uh, time of year changes. Or if you have a vehicle that has uh, been sold or you have an accident with it and it's no longer going to be on the road and you need to uh, turn the device off dead, it's not going to be restarted. You get a hold of us. There's no contract. And what we do at GPS to go differently uh, than a lot of places, we give you a three-year hardware warranty. So all of the equipment that I sell from Geotab, I give you a 36-month hardware warranty. Uh, the factory gives me one year, but I know that the product is so reliable. It has a 0.4% failure rate. You know, we don't have to, uh, I don't have to worry often that uh, it breaks uh, because of manufacturer's defect. Uh, before we continue today, I guess I, you know, we're going to, we put out the poll, who's with us, uh, you know, you're kind enough to join us. Are you existing uh, Geotab customers? Uh, where are you from? Possibly if you want to share that maybe in the chat, um, you know, we can have a look at that. I see the uh, questions in that are going to go up. Thank you, Amin. My good friend, and I call him my secret weapon, Ryan Thomas is going to join us as well here at the end of today's presentation. And if you are looking at GPS tracking, imagine a system that allows you to offset the cost of the purchase, the running of that system. Um, you know, PTO rebates, Holly Transportation, Ryan and I work together. And even if you don't do business with me today, you know, uh, even if you don't do uh, business with, with GPS to go today, let Ryan, uh, or you can reach out to him at Holly Transportation. He can help you probably recover fuel tax rebates, thousands and thousands of dollars in a lot of cases that you didn't even know uh, that you could get. So when you have a, a PTO that's running, the fuel, uh, the tax that is um, on that fuel while that PTO is running, you can claim that back and Ryan will uh, take us through that. Ryan, do you wanna say hello while, uh, while we have a chance? Thanks, Russ. It's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, and I thank everyone for joining us. Um, I, I, do, uh, I do deal with many customers who uh, I've heard many of their GPS challenges, and uh, one of the biggest ones I've found is communication. So uh, the reason why I work uh, well with Russ is uh, we both share the same uh, motto of answering our phones, which is uh, rare these days. Uh, when you call, we pick up the phone and uh, we respond. And that seems to be my biggest um, complaint from customers uh, about some of their uh, GPS providers now. Uh, but yes, uh, Russ and I work very well uh, together. He's very forward thinking and uh, the fact that he offers a great product and, uh, but also goes above and beyond and offers the means to um, subsidize or sometimes uh, pay for the entire amount of his product through um, PTO auxiliary rebates. Uh, which we um, which we calculate for you. Wonderful. So. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, we have done a number of customers uh, where you know they want to put GPS tracking into their fleets. And then you know we introduce the idea of how Ryan's group can go in. And a lot of times, even if you don't have tracking, they know how to go in and do an audit and get you that money back. So again, Holly Transportation, whether you do business with me or not today, uh, there's somebody, when Ryan knocks on your door, you should uh, listen to what they have to say. So I'm going to show you all about Public Works and what it does differently and why it's something that I think, uh, again, cities and towns from the smallest to the biggest, a lot of them are already using it. But if you have 
um, vehicles and a fleet out there and you're looking for that uh, one-stop shop and all-encompassing view, uh, it will really help you with that. So, you know, here we have garbage, we have snow removal, you know, construction. So your liability, post-claim, you know, in event investigations, it can help you with that. Your customer service, uh, your environmental side, material management. So your material management, uh, our system, the telematics, I'm going to show you the gateway controller uh, that comes uh, in that product. Again, managing your salt, your brine, your other material budgets, solutions aligned with the agency annual salt management reporting. So really, you know, how do I be efficient with what we're doing out there? How do we only use the amount of salt that we need? Uh, compliance as well, right? So your level of service compliance tools, aligning your solutions. And then your accountability, public facing websites. So imagine um, like a lot of private snow contractors do, I work with some where uh, they show their customers when the vehicle is approaching, when their driveway is gonna get done. Well, public facing website is something that Geotab's putting out there. You know, and your key performance indicators, uh, again, for media, council, minister's office, your public forums. So as a small town or a large town, imagine as the fleet manager, supervisor, being able to look at your live map and by the color of the roads, tell how long it's been since your fleet vehicles have been down that road and to know where you need to uh, concentrate your efforts on, maybe reassign some vehicles live as they're going along, you know, Again, as it says here, run level of service metrics as a percentage of your route completion. So as those colors change, you can see on the fly what areas have been done, what areas need to be looked at again. You know, are we on track? Are we keeping up with the snow event? It can be used for just many, many different things. Your material management as well. So I believe uh, in here, you know, you're able to see, for instance, your vehicle date your salt, if you had sand in this equation, your mix, pre-wet, your gallons of pre-wet, anti-ice, and then your totals. So being able to see what's going on at the time that it's happening and then go back and have a really good recounting. Being able to click on a device as it's going down the road, as you can see here, and see exactly what's going on with those vehicles. So see the different rights, uh, rates, pardon me, right? See your materials and know that things are happening the way you want them to, really being in charge of uh, what's happening in your municipality. The evolution of 511, smart city initiatives. So Geotab, when you're using the Geotab platform with the public works, you're able to get in and then start offering your constituents the 511 Op, uh, options here. So Geotab can help you with that. It'll give you uh, all the information you need. If you're looking for that, we'll have it for you. So the product overview, Geotab components. So we have a few levels, like I mentioned before. Uh, our base level, you know, which we talked about is uh, our base level. Where's the vehicle? When did they start? When did they finish speeding, idling? geofencing, and then we move into a regulatory mode for those vehicles needing electronic log books, uh, but not needing uh, engine diagnostics to run ELD. Then there's Pro, which gives you ELD and vehicle uh, diagnostics, live reporting, everything in the previous uh, two levels. And then we have Pro Plus. Um, and then the Pro Plus Public Works is a one step above that. And our standard Pro Plus, you know, you've got that active uh, tracking where you watch the icon move across the screen as if you're flying over it with a uh, drone. It gives you second by second uh, replay live on the screen. Uh, you get a lifetime uh, warranty with the device. So any of your vehicles in Pro Plus, uh, there's many, many advantages. But then when we get into Pro Plus Public Works, you're getting all of the advantages you're seeing here, telemetry data, winter operations data, you know, your winter, op winter operations reports, 
So trip day and route based operation maps. Uh, down at the bottom, for those of you that are looking for it, again, Geotab, part of this, you've got your uh, ESRI GIS, your ArcGIS mapping and API compatibility. So pulling that information in from your uh, different websites and ERPs that you're using. And when you're using ProPlus Public Works, you're also going to get Geotab live support from the Geotab offices. So there's experts that will be available for this. It's part of the monthly fee. Um, and you're not going to be alone in the wilderness trying to figure this out. You're going to have Geotab trained professionals right from the factory to help you uh, learn, understand, and really get as much uh, ROI out of the Geotab Public Works product as you can. The nice thing about it as well, if you know Geotab, and you're talking about integrations, we talked earlier about Volvo, GM, Ford, um, you know, the data sets that Geotab can pull out of the onboard diagnostic ports of all these different vehicles. Uh, now Geotab also has these machine to machine integrations. So your salt spreader integrations, I think you can see that on the screen. I won't bother reading through all of them, uh, but Geotab has a gateway that will work um, and give you the ability, you know, just about any of them that you're working with will be able to uh, pull out those readings and uh, give you a one-stop device that will do all of these things. So we have a new form factor. It's going to be even smaller, lighter uh, than this picture, but you're going to have, if you're using Geotab Pro Plus Public Works, we have a controller gateway. So that goes on the vehicle and will go out again to your input centers, uh, sensors, I should say your uh, mobile, you know, RWIS, your spreader controllers. So that will be able and talks with the Geotab Go device. That Go device again is the heart and soul where everything begins. This plugs into the ECM or the CAN bus G1939 of your vehicles, your OBD2 ports uh, for your uh, smaller vehicles under five ton. And every vehicle starts off with one of these. And then the Pro Plus Public Works pe people will also have this attached to the vehicle. And it gives you the ability to expand your repertoire of equipment. So again, uh, you can have the controller gateway, telemetry, salt spreader. You could also have your electronic logbook uh, necessities all at the same time if you need a DVIR, if you need cameras. Um, you know, we, can, we do temperature monitoring for those that need it on and on and on. I'm going to show you in a moment here the Geotab uh, marketplace. So we've got you covered with just about every type of uh, input that you need and driver training, route optimization, maintenance, it's all uh, you know, available and can be available in one-stop shop. So the Geotab Public Works um, add-in. So inside of your Geotab platform, you would have the Public Works add-in. You're able to click in there. And then again, all of that specialized data that you're looking for uh, is available in one platform your basic tracking and uh, maintenance engine diagnostics, uh, routing, different things like that. ELD is also there as well. So it's one place that covers all of those areas. You don't have to flip between many different screens. It's an all encompassing spot. For those people out there that are doing base maps and layers, of course, right? Your Esri maps, your arc maps, in here, here's a short uh, video showing, uh, you know, putting these different ones down. So switch between Google, Esri, the maps that are important to you. Uh, Geotab has the experts that will put uh, this all together so that you can use this custom approach. It's not just a one-stop shop uh, where everything is all the same. Uh, it will cover whatever you need and Geotab will help customize it to give you the advantage in that, you know, the way you want to see it.
I don't know if we have any um, questions out there that need answering. I know I have one of our team members actively answering on the chat. So uh, I'll uh, leave it at that for now, if there's anything that's come up. Um, here's the geo filter with the playback. So where have my vehicles been? What route did they take? Show me uh, inside those specialized areas. So say you have, you know, here's uh, Hampton Park. So you want to know, uh, you know, did we get in there? How fast were we um, uh, servicing that area? Show me just in a specialized area what it is that we did. Uh, when you have customer uh, questions or qu queries, um, you know, show me that area. Uh, maybe you've got, you know, a VIP uh, area where you have to make sure that it's being done. Again, the geo filter and the playback will show you all of that. Telemetry and diagnostic data. So again, you know, where is my plow? Is it up? Is it down? Winter ops diagnostic data. And remember, again, with Geotab, when you're using this, part of the monthly fee is the training and the ongoing tech support. So you don't have to learn and uh, become an expert overnight. It's the kind of thing that we're always here for you to help you with that. Solid materials, solid rate, solid spread, pre-wet rate. That's hard to say, pre-wet rate, pre-wet spread. So all of that information that you're looking for will be right there at your fingertips. Winter ops report again, right? So you're able to drill down to see exactly what's happening with your team out in the field. Day-based winter operation. So historical reporting of material handling. Where did we go? What uh, you know volumes did we go through? Are we on track with our salt budget for the year? So the nice thing with this, again, the opportunity for public works, you know, specific government agencies may require niche, niche solutions. So, you know, maybe you need tracking, maybe you want to have uh, the public works components, but maybe you also need asset tracking. Uh, mobile forms are, again, are you looking for cameras? Are you looking for things of that nature? Do you have uh, the need? We have some wonderful solar powered trackers. All of that is available. Winter operations reporting. Uh -huh. So, you know, Good Roads members, this is Canada after all, and it's not always as beautiful as it is out there today on the 19th of May. Um, this platform, you know, it's tough, tough, tough. The equipment is made that it's, you know, very tough and uh, resilient. And we give you all of those specialized reports that people like you are looking for. So controllers display custom field names for each controller and Geotab extracts, you know, all available vital feeds from every controller type and presents it in a normalized fashion. So again, if you have a mix between Dickie John or Epoch or some of the other ones, um, you know, you'll be able to get that information up there uh, and not have to worry, uh, you know, does it talk to our system? Anything that's available, this uh, product should be able to pull it out. Material settings from each controller type. And uh, regardless of the custom material setup, you know, public works, buckets, materials would dry, you know, in three ways, salt, sand, and mix. So again, day base winter operations. We give you that detail. We always save your information guaranteed. You're not having to worry about that. So day-based winter operations report, your WOR, use cases, aggregated material usage up to 30 days, storm usage, your forecasting, mechanics and metrics, so you get one line per vehicle per day, salt, sand, mixed material totals, average application rates while spreading, your dry, your pre-wet, your anti-ice material, spreading, plowing, deadheading time, and your distance. So again, detailed reports, 
information that's available. Um, we save your information. It's safe. You can download it, offload it, save it as you need as well. With Geotab, one of the big pluses of our system is your data that you create is yours. It's not like other systems possibly where they make it hard to offload the data. With Geotab, it's very, very uh, open for you to take your data, but it's also very, very secure. So our trip-based winter operations report. So, you know, again, it can be zone dependent, optional WOR within public works, uh, usage per trip, driver coaching, spreading efficiencies per trip, measure distance per load, mechanics and metrics again. So through this, we've got it covered for you. So we've got everything that you're looking for. So best practices, calibration, equipment maintenance, we have a higher accuracy of data. So the inclusion of telematics within this, uh, you know, winter commissioning of vehicles, pre-trip inspection, inspection for proximity sensors, hydraulic lines, auger feeds, storm audits, open loop, closed loop, auto manual. So our system again, and query it as a coaching tool. Geospatial reporting. Route completion report summary. So provide a quick view of the progress of your city, town, state, you know, for a specific period of time. How did we do at the halfway point of last night's storm? So again, inside of your different areas, this is going to give you that detail of data that you're looking for. And it comes out, you, you know, again, colored rectang rectangles, the extremities of each route, the color legend, again, red not serviced, yellow partially serviced, purple over serviced. And again, ability to download it, ability to sort. And our route completion report detail. So when you're back at the headquarters and you're wanting to review what's been going on, you know, are we doing a good job with our plan? Are we on track? Once again, I'll uh, ask if there's any uh, major questions. I know I have my uh, other member sitting here with us, and I don't know that I have anything coming up that uh, needs to uh, be answered. I know he's answering questions. Our level of service map, it's included as well. And again, the training from Geotab is there for you. So Russ, uh, there's a question uh, asking, how long does Geotab save the data? So Geotab guarantees that we save uh, your data for one year and any other parts of the data when it comes to ELDs or uh, municipal uh, minimums, Geotab will always meet that kind of um, uh, timeline. Guaranteed. So what I'll do for a second is I'm going to show you a little bit of the uh, Geotab. I'm going to see if I can get this. Let me see here. I've got, um, I want to minimize this. I want to show and here we go my geotab mapping. So I'll run you through a little bit of what the geotab platform looks like out there in the real world. Um, here is one of our standard geotab platforms. And if you're unfamiliar with that, I'll show you, these are some of our vehicles. And this is the gentleman that had the vehicle up near uh, Tomogamy Shores. Um, when you're in the system, if you're not familiar with it, you can see live what the vehicles are doing. And a very interesting thing today about these vehicles that we're looking at here, all of these vehicles are uh, Volvo and international integrations. 
So we're getting all the usual uh, telematics data that you're expecting to get. And these people are running electronic logbooks without ever having to buy the GeoTab hardware for those vehicles. Uh, these Volvo and international trucks have it built in right from the factory. And it gives us all of that wonderful live data. So we have 6042, for instance, we click on that. It shows us where it stopped, the time and the date. We've got uh, one of the vehicles here, 6048, appears to be driving 29 kilometers, Edward Street North, Prescott, Ontario. We're able to change into the satellite view if we so desire, we're like with that as well. And it's going to show us, you know, right down to street level. Oh, it looks like 6048 has stopped here as well. So the GeoTab device will give you all of those kinds of details right down to two meter accuracy or better. So here's the vehicle he stopped. We can see where he is. And then all of your vehicles are listed. We can go in and we can do a trip history if you haven't seen this before. So GeoTab saves all your data, again, guaranteed for a year. Um, we can just look at, for instance, this vehicle was overnight, McIntosh Road in Prescott. So one day in 17 hours. So it got in at 5.20 p.m. on the 17th, sat there until 10.35 a.m. on the 5th on the 19th. I can look at the last trip that that vehicle took. And again, the breadcrumb trails on our products are so, so granular. It's second by second. When I move the mouse close by, I can just move it along here and you'll see, let me move this a little closer here, right? It's going to give us all of the different speeds and the route that the driver took. And this is all with the built-in um, Navistar or uh, Volvo uh, telematics built right into the vehicle. These people uh, drive and pick up for Giant Tiger. So we can see all the different stops that they've done and follow along from place to place. And then you can print off these trip history reports as well, just by clicking on report, clicking on advanced and all of your trip history report will come up. Your uh, activities are in here. So we can help you with risk management speed profile, do your drivers congregate when they shouldn't be? That's all uh, available in there as well. Your working hours, do you have vehicles that should only be out during certain times of the day? Here's your IFTA report. So again, if you have vehicles that uh, qualify for that, easy to work with. Log data and collisions, if you have a, a fender bender, we have information for you on that. And then hours of service is all included, uh, you know, in the platform here, hours of service, engine maintenance. So again, no matter what type of diesel or gas engine, and now uh, fuel usage and electric vehicle usage. So that's included in here. Uh, if you have, again, plans to have electric vehicles and you need help with that, GeoTab has an electric vehicle assessment tool that can help you really understand that. Your engine uh, uh, diagnostics, again, you know, do we have, for instance, an alert button that comes up? It will tell you if you have a vehicle that needs to go in for servicing. DVIR, trailers, maintenance reminders, easy to set up, reminder rules, reminders do, your maintenance history, that comes in all levels of our product, easy for uh, the layperson to work with. And again, we always give you unlimited uh, what would you call it? Unlimited customer support. Zones and messages. So geofencing, we call it a zone. So you can have your geofences like we see here, Giant Tiger distribution as an example. When they enter those uh, areas, it comes up and underlines it in a color of your choice, telling you when they've been in there. Customer visits, routing. So we have some routing that comes in the system and then your two-way messaging that works with your electronic log system. Rules, inside of the GeoTab system, 
we have all of the most favorite rules and based on the level of um, service, the, the monthly uh, service fee that you choose, some of these are available, some are not. But in all of our levels, you've got things like seat belt, uh, sorry, uh, speeding, after hours usage, in our pro level and above, harsh braking, acceleration, hard cornering, unauthorized home stops. There's many, many different things we can give to you. Battery drain. If there's tampering with your equipment, we have three different reports built into the system for that. I'm going to show you very quickly now, we talked about the Geotab marketplace. So in every Geotab database, there is a marketplace button where you can go in. And again, if it exists in the fleet world, we probably have it. So these are some of the randomized ones in here. So, you know, whether it's a different camera, SureCam, whether it's a uh, product that we work with with JJ Keller, Route for Me notifications, our electronic logbook system, Geotab Drive, you know, some of our uh, IOX readers, Allison Transmission. You can hook this up if you have uh, the right level of uh, monthly data feed. So if it exists in the fleet world, we probably have it. And you can sort these and look at them just by searching. So we have, for instance, these different DVR systems here. We have solar trailer trackers. So again, anything you can dream up, Geotab probably has it covered for you here. So the best and most robust engine data in the industry. So public works data, I'm gonna move along here and then give uh, the last uh, 10 minutes of our presentation for Ryan to uh, show uh, what it is that he does here. So again, when you're using the Geotab device, no matter what vehicle it is, when it's plugged in, it can pull the engine diagnostics if you're using it in uh, pro and above. And the engine diagnostics definitely come when you're using Geotab Pro Plus. So winter operations, engine measurements. So our salt spreader controller data stored in my Geotab and it's stored there as engine measurements for controller integrated vehicles only telemetry inputs, you know, will map to a third party auxiliary. So we have our auxiliary uh, cables and you can put your uh, telemetry hooked up through there. And you then can build rules to generate exceptions. So are we spreading too fast, sweeping too fast, plowing distances that exceed a certain amount of miles or kilometers? Again, broom distance exceeding certain number of miles, dry material rates, things of that nature. And then pulling data, pulling data into other systems via our API and SDK. So Geotab prides itself on being able uh, with our software development kit uh, and API calls. If you have a, a proprietary system or uh, an ERP that you really like, chances are the Geotab system um, can work together with it and we can pull the data. So we have developers and we have third party um, integrators that you can uh, request. And if you have something that you really don't want to give up, but you want that information in the Geotab system, we have somebody that can probably do it for you. And again, the Geotab system, extremely secure data, but also made uh, to integrate with uh, other people as necessary. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Ryan Thomas from Holly Transportation. And I'm going to have a sip of water and let him uh, tell you about what they do. Ryan, go ahead. Thanks, Russ. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I need you to uh, stop sharing your screen and then I'll bring mine up. You got it. Yeah. Well, let me see here. I have hide self view 
mute. Uh, Ryan, you can go ahead and, and start sharing. It'll yeah. automatically. Uh... That's what I thought. Yes. Oh, okay. Click on share screen, Ryan, and it will automatically give you the presenter role. Awesome. All right. So hi, everyone, and thanks again for your time. Um, it's been a pleasure working with Russ. Uh, not only is, um, does he provide a great service, but uh, we've actually been using um, his reports to process our uh, PTO auxiliary rebates and also using his reports uh, in uh, some of our uh, government audits, if that ever were to happen. Uh, so um, not many people know about this program. Uh, this was a program that was put back in place around 60 years ago to help uh, entice the car companies to build in Ontario. And what the government offered was the road tax back built into the fuel as an incentive um, to, the, to the builders um, before the plates were actually put on the cars. Uh, it's extended to other vehicles since then. Um, but essentially built into your clear diesel is a, a cost of 14.7 cents a liter, which is an Ontario government road tax, uh, which is uh, something that you're required to pay when your vehicles are driving up and down the highways. However, whenever your PTO is engaged and you're using the vehicles for a secondary service, like lifting and lowering a dump box or compacting garbage, uh, running a street sweeper, um, you're actually entitled to that money back. And we're the company that's been doing this uh, for the last 22 years. Um, uh, and it's something that not many uh, companies are taking advantage of. Uh, with, with townships, we find that uh, even if you are uh, giving it a shot, it's uh, very time consuming and frustrating. Uh, and often there's so much movement within the townships that the person who uh, has somewhat become the expert um, uh, moves on or may not even be um, putting these claims together properly to begin with. Um, like I said, with, uh, with 22 years, we've, um, we've processed uh, many claims and have successfully uh, succeeded in uh, over 2,500 audits at this point. Uh, we, we don't have any upfront fees. We uh, work off of a percentage uh, portion of whatever we uh, recover from the, gov the, the government. And, um, and we set up a system going forward where uh, we can automatically get your reports and process these claims uh, going forward um, and um, gets to an automated state where we're just delivering checks on a, on a yearly basis. So for townships, it's mainly the, um, the plow trucks, the garbage trucks, street sweepers, uh, and in some cases, hydro vacs that qualify. Uh, on average, we can normally see a return of uh, four to $500 per vehicle per year. And the claims do go back four years. So uh, we do uh, get quite a bit of money back on the first claim, uh, but then we do get uh, everything set up as uh, automated as possible going forward. And um, uh, continue doing your claims going forward. Uh, what we're looking for uh, from you is we're looking for um, the vehicles that have uh, PTOs equipped in them, uh, as well as they have to be uh, using clear diesel and um, also be plated for road use. Uh, so we do get a lot of questions about farm use and things like that. The dyed diesel is actually uh, the fuel with this tax removed. Uh, we do also find other uh, things that we can claim. Uh, with public works, uh, all of the, the um, unleaded gas uh, that's being used to run things like your mowers, your weed trimmers, things like that. Uh, we also are able to recover uh, the road tax built into those as well, uh, as well as marine units, um, any unleaded um, boats um, uh, also qualify for this program. Uh, so normally what we would do is we would meet with you, uh, go over um, a way to come up with the easiest plan to get information uh, and, and build, the, build the claim. And um, we would also at the same time ensure that we have uh, some sort of data or information that covers us in a, in a government audit. Uh, 
Uh, we handle all the government audits. Uh, we wouldn't send anything that wouldn't pass. And uh, uh, we do actually have a gentleman on retainer who uh, used to work with the, with the ministry. Uh, he re retired a few years ago and he actually handles our more difficult or complicated audits. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a great ace up our sleeve because he's the gentleman who actually built the audit procedures. So we take away all the work, uh, the administration, the red tape, uh, as well as the worries about uh, audits and taking away from uh, headcount time and um, time just uh, where we're finding that the townships don't actually have the time to give. I think I went through a, a few of these. Uh, right now, we really are uh, doing a push with the townships. Uh, this claim isn't uh, just for townships alone. It's it's for uh, any any vehicle out there plated plated for the road uh, with a PTO installed. Um, but uh, what we're finding with townships is um, during the pandemic, we're able to uh, process these claims electronically, uh, which has been a great help for uh, everyone right now. Uh, it's helping us keep working, and uh, but it's also uh, bringing some uh, revenue back to um, to the townships to help offset some COVID costs, uh, which are are piling up. Uh, so normally we would uh, pick up um, the actual um, hard copy files, uh, but lately we've been able to uh, find the right files, and we've been uh, accepting them through Dropbox or uh, some uh, townships use WeTransfer, uh, and then we can start building the claim immediately. Um, and norm, normal time frame is four to five months before we would uh, receive a government check. Um, but uh, there, we are seeing some delays right now. Uh, usually, usually we're seeing stuff in about six months. Uh, normally they have extra, the government has extra help in the summer to catch up, uh, but they haven't been doing that this year because uh, most, most of the, um, most of the employees are working from home. So I've uh, included my contact information. Um, that's my direct line. I would be happy to meet with anyone. Uh, if you have uh, questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer them at any time. Um, there's a nice quote from uh, the Greater Sudbury. Uh, they've been one of my longstanding uh, customers uh, but also a bit of a success story uh, with, uh, with Sudbury. Uh, they also uh, rolled out uh, my services to all of their contractors and local uh, business owners. And um, since we've started bringing uh, the claims back to Sudbury, we've also brought over uh, $200,000 back to the actual community oh. itself. And um, uh, we're, we're starting to roll that out with uh, more and more of the communities as well. So uh, with technology, and now uh, we're all pros at Zoom, uh, we're also um, meeting up with the far reaching um, townships as well. So it doesn't matter how many vehicles you have, uh, we handle fleets up from, from one all the way up to 300. Uh, we're happy to do the claim and uh, we're happy to bring back uh, government money. It's your government money. Uh, it's tough to get back, but uh, we've uh, we've become the masters at it, and we'd happy we'd be happy to uh, bring it back to you. Um, uh, happy to take any questions. Uh, I'll I'll stay on uh, as as long as possible as well. Happy to uh, book anything um, going forward. Zoom uh, conference calls are fine. Um, I guess some uh, one of the other questions that we normally get are how do our services work. Uh, we work off of a percentage basis, so whatever you receive back from the government, we would uh, invoice you for 40%, uh, so 60 for you, and um, essentially handle uh, all of the work and uh, build it to a system where everything is completely automated, so um, you just receive the checks. So we're happy to do it, and I'm happy to stay on and answer uh, any questions as needed, or uh, please feel free to um, contact me at any time, and I'd be happy to uh, answer any of your questions. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks. Uh, All so right. I've seen that Marcelino has been uh, uh, up to speed with all the questions. That uh, I, I hope that all the other people are uh, that asked questions were able to view the answer to their questions. 
which you can access through the Q and A function and go to the answered questions and uh, you'll see the answers. But uh, for the sake of it, I'll go through some of the questions so that Russ and uh, Ryan also would have a chance to uh, uh, answer them live. Uh, one of the questions says, can, can the work uh, order report by, uh, by the report by the trip over a prescribed route or only by daily accomplishment? Oh, R Russ, you are muted. The line was cracking up when you were asking that. Um, can you ask that one again, please? Okay, so can the WOR report uh, by the uh, trip over a prescribed date, uh, over a prescribed drought, or only by daily accomplishment? Uh, the WOR is daily accomplishment, I believe, is what they are doing. I can uh, get back to that person directly afterwards uh, to make sure. Hey, Russ, it's Mars here. Uh, just let me interject. Uh, that question was answered, and we are able to run the report based on a trip. So every time a vehicle leaves the yard and comes back, we're also able to run the report based on a day. So looking at the total uh, from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, so any trips um, that the vehicles or, or the number of trips that the vehicle has done that day is aggregated as well as we're able to report based on specific uh, routes that the vehicle has taken that day. Thank you. Thanks, Marcelino. And also, I, uh, I've seen a couple of questions that are common. Uh, people are asking uh, why specifically go with a reseller uh, like gps to go versus going directly to Geotab. I've seen that Marcelino answered uh, that, but I've I thought I'd give it a, uh, a chance sure. for you to answer it live. Well, Geotab doesn't sell their products directly to the end user. Uh, they're only sold uh, through authorized resellers like myself. Uh, so, you know, we are uh, your go-to with, uh, we have 700 plus customers right across the United States and Canada. And again, I think that out in the province of Ontario, I have a, a sense that um, there is a lot of the smaller communities that are not being served uh, by, uh, you know, other telematics providers. And uh, when Ryan introduced me to the idea of the good roads, I definitely wanted to show uh, what we're doing with public works uh, because of that. So, you know, we are um, your go-to for that. It's, it's the, the real customer service. Uh, people who really uh, pay attention to your needs uh, and being able to give you uh, a larger, you know, uh, holistic view of all the different things that uh, Geotab can do for you. Thanks, Russ. And uh, another question uh, was also answered by, by Marcelino, but I thought uh, it would be good to, to bring it up uh, live. Uh, regarding uh, when tracking the, the application of uh, of salt and, and winter maintenance, are you able to identify a salt vulnerable area through geospatial identification and report amount of salt applied in the sit area for a season? So that is, that's what the, the system's designed to do, yes. So the short answer is yes. And I would have Marcelino explain uh, deeper on that because uh, we do have uh, those experts that do the training when the uh, customer starts using the product. Thank you, Russ. And uh, with that, I don't see any uh, other common questions and we've uh, hit the mark. We're at the 202 exactly. Uh, again, I would like to uh, thank you, Russ and, uh, and Ryan for taking the time and uh, presenting today and for uh, uh, GPS to go for sponsoring this session and webinar and sharing the, the knowledge with our members. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you everybody. Everybody.